Uh, you were born a world changer. The 12th and the 13th verses in the book of Jeremiah says, I knew you before you were in your mother's womb, and I have plans for you. I have plans to prosper you. I have plans to give you a good and positive end. So uh, there is a destiny for you if you just embrace it and affirm it, uh, a destiny for you that is a positive one uh, that was created in heaven. This is my view. This is certainly you're entitled to your own opinion. This is mine. And so we say to you, world changers, that in, in spite of your potential, in spite of the fact that you were born a world changer, nothing changes until you would change it. The Bible also says that your gifts sh shall make room for you. So you have the responsibility of using your gifts, whether it's singing, whether it's dancing, whether it's speaking, uh, whether it's just wearing beautiful hats. You have your own gift and you need to go ahead and you need to show yourself proud. <laughs> you know, the, the hundredth psalm says, praise him in the dance, praise him with the symbol, praise him with the voice. Let all things, let everything rather that have breath, praise him. And so uh, we know uh, that we are a special people that was set aside a mountain, mountain on the hill, as the word says. Uh, we also remind you always that is it important that you take some time to do something to feed into other people's lives like our guests here tonight have. Uh, we have the responsibility of working with doing things that are making other people feel uplifted. As our poet laureate Maya Angelou always reminds us, people will forget what you said. They may forget what you did, but they never ever forget how you make them feel. This is a truism of life. And so, as Sister Maya reminds us, that we have to do something to make somebody else feel better, someone else feel how great a human being they really are. Finally, we have to find ways to empower and enrich our community. This is the ministry of this broadcast. I have often been criticized from the time that we started this broadcast because people have said that Lisa and I are living in a fairy tale. <clears throat> and the reason why they have said that is because the Matthews broadcast has chosen from the beginning to base what we do in a concept of empowerment that's rooted in spirituality. And we do not talk about some of those things that we know are occurring in communities, in urban communities. We know today in a city somewhere in this country, A shot B. We know somewhere in an urban community Today, somebody died violently. We know in the urban community today, a child was born out of wedlock. We know the levels of poverty, drug addiction, poor schools, inadequate housing. We know all of these things. The list is long and it's repeated to us all the time. But when we started this broadcast, and I think it's been the secret to why we have been modestly successful, some would say very successful since we've started, is because we have chosen on purpose intentionally to focus on the light. We have chosen on purpose to bring positive <laughs> news about urban communities. So I tell my critics all the time, we are not in a fairyland. We know <laughs> what's in our communities. Our position is that not enough is said about the positives, about the thousand points of lights where we live. Not enough about that is said. We hear all too often on the six o'clock news or on the morning news all the bad things that occur in urban locales, and we don't uh, operate as if these things don't exist. We just want to have some balance because guess what? Today in the urban community somewhere around this country, a young person who everybody gave up on got a doctorate. Doctorate. Yes. doctorate. <laughs> Today yes. in communities of color somewhere around this country, somebody grew a successful business. Yes. Today, somebody in the urban community across this country made sure that 
their grandmother wasn't disrespected by some out of their mind person. These things need to be spoken about too. <laughs> and so this is what uh, we do here in the Matthews broadcast. And so because we know that God acts through people, every miracle that we read of in the Bible, in the Quran, in the holy text of the Buddhist, every miracle that's been ever worked by God was worked through the hand or the mouth of a man or a woman. Right? So we bring on miracles like you <laughs> so that we could continue to tell this story that yes, grass grows in Patterson. <laughs> Flowers. 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 Uh, now that you have our secret is out and you know who we have in studio, we have the one and only Carolyn Joe and, and her handsome husband. Uh, you know, Billy D doesn't have anything on this brother <laughs> sitting here. And so Lisa and I are joined in studio by the owners of Rose Petals. We are glad to have them. Um, and so right now I'm just going to give it to Lisa. Lisa, you have any remarks on this? Monday that uh, you would like to share about your perspective as we go into this week and then certainly you could begin uh, with any questions you might have for Carol. Well, first of all, I'd like to say welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Joe. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I grew up in Patterson with their children. We were in the same church organizations. We all were on some of the same mass choirs. Uh, we were on choirs out of Bible Way, uh, mass choirs out of um, Greater Bethel. Um, we went to Bethel to fellowship. Uh, your family and church family went to Old Olivet to yes. fellowship. So we've yes. known each other literally for decades. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for decades. Yeah. So shout out. Yes. <laughs> shout out to yes. Angie. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So welcome, welcome, welcome. It's wonderful to see you again. Uh, I think the last time I saw y'all was at Uncle Levi's church, my Uncle Levi. Yeah. So it's wonderful to see you that's again. It's been a while. Yeah. 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 And so how is the family? How how are you two kids? Listen, everyone the is well. Kids, the grandkids they, are yeah. off to college and wow. growing and glowing. So everything is sort of falling into place right and Chris now. is doing some yeah. wonderful things yeah. down there yes. in Southland, yes. Georgia, We're right? So proud of him. I know We're you. So are. proud of him. So very proud of Angela. Proud of our grandsons. We have two grandsons in college. Mm -hmm. This year they're both at Voorhees. Very nice. Uh, college down in South Carolina, and it is a blessing. Yeah. It is a blessing. So, Very good. Well, they yeah. came from good stock. They had amazing examples of a couple that loved each other, holy, loved God the most, love each other, and love their children. Yes. yes. So they had no yes. choice but to, to be successful themselves. So tell me, what is the name of your business, and where are you located? Okay, we are A. Roses Petals Florist. We're at 472 Broadway in Patterson, New Jersey. We're celebrating 20 years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 20 years. Wow. 20 years. Yes. God has been good. God is has been good. good. God is good. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. So my next question is, what is the unique value of your business? What's special? Why should everybody come right to you? Well, first of all, I'd like to say a couple of things. First of all, one of the things we try to do is give back mm -hmm. every day. This mm -hmm. is my community mm -hmm. where I work. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily the best community, but I try to make it the best community. Go ahead. That's right. Go That's ahead, right. Mrs. Oftentimes, people don't really have what they need to do what they need to do. Mm -hmm. I try to make sure my hand is out there, not raking something in, mm -hmm. but giving something out. Be it trying to help them make their final arrangements and adding to it so that they can have what they want, or just, you know, giving young people advice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not always the nicest things that you hear passing the door. Mm -hmm. And as a shop owner, you want, I want to be able to have a place where people can feel welcomed. Mm -hmm. right. So when I hear stuff that's not nice going on outside my door, I have no problem taking a walk out and saying, hey, young man, I'm old enough to be your mother, mm -hmm. your grandmother. Mm -hmm. You really shouldn't do that. 
So, you know, so I try to give back. I want to be known as someone that can try to do something good for somebody sometime, mm -hmm. you know, for somebody else. Uh, we service, or I should say, we have a group of seasoned professionals at Arosa's Petals. Mm -hmm. um, second to none, mm -hmm. those designers there, they can get it done. They know what to do, they know how to do. We uh, partner with 1-800-Flowers oh. and Telefloral. Um, so we can do anything that you need anywhere. We can send flowers outside of the United States, countries outside of the United States. So, you know, we service the local Patterson Police Department, Fire Department, local funeral homes, businesses, companies. So we're, we're right there. We're, we're like right in your face, you know, 20 years, mm -hmm. that stands for something, yes, it does. you know, and people know your name. And so people know that you're a company of resource, that you are a value mm -hmm. and that you add value to the community. Okay, so that that's wonderful to me. Yeah, so that's... <laughs> and, that's, and, that's and that's why I shared earlier, it's, it's, it's a testament to the fact that, you know, longevity, um, is its own credibility. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right, because you could not be past year number two. <laughs> yeah. Right. Unless you were doing something right. That's right. right? It's <laughs> yeah. not Much correct. less year number twenty. Yeah. That's absolutely you correct. You know, and so uh, we we celebrate you. We applaud you. And this goes ties back into why I think it's our obligation to tell those positive stories of our own, so that we are not overcome by this wave of everything that's wrong with right. urban that's communities. Right. I just right. don't agree with it yeah. um, at all. Um, in fact, I remind people that, you know, it is also biblical uh, sometimes to overlook those things that are great about, that come from humble beginnings or mm. come from challenged realities. Um, it was Herod himself when told that a savior was born in Bethlehem, asked the question biblically, can any Thank good you. thing, <laughs> can any good mm -hmm. thing good come thing. out of Nazareth, mm -hmm. right? So, well, my inquisitive nature, Mr. and Mrs. Joe was, you know, what was Nazareth like for Herod to say something like that? So I asked some friends at Seton Hall University Seminary and School because I went to Seton Hall Law School and the former president of Seton Hall himself, Monsignor Sheeran, uh, Monsignor said, Stan, I'm going to tell you, Nazareth was the ghetto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't get born in a stable if you're rich. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, so he said what Herod was saying is, can any good thing come out of the ghetto? That's right. You know, that's the question. And the, the answer question. is yes. 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 The answer is yes. A king. Yes. A, king. A king. A king. A king. So, you know, I my position is that, yes, I don't care how challenged the circumstance. I don't care how humble the beginning. My God can take a cricket stick and hit, hit a mean lick. So, yes, we, <laughs> yes, so, yes. so it is our obligation to make sure uh, that people not only know who you are, but celebrate who you are, because in celebrating who you are, what you've been able to achieve, they celebrate their own possibilities. That's right. Because That's right. some little girl or some little boy might say, you know what, if the Joes can do it, I may be able to aspire and achieve that myself. That's you know, that's that, and that that is the key that all of us, you know, um, remember that the successful person in the world uh, has two arms: one reaching forward and one reaching back. One reaching forward for those things that they've yet been able to achieve, and one reaching back to make sure they take somebody along with them. You know, so that's the symbol of the successful person. Um, in fact, one of my favorite artistic drawings is that drawing that you see sometimes with an arm coming down from heaven, reaching up, reaching down for someone. Mm -hmm. That is uh, that is what we all must do, and I can tell uh, that you have done that throughout your career. All right. So, who is a great referral for your business? Um, I say everyone is mm -hmm. our listening audience tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
there is going to come a time in your life when you're going to need flowers. Absolutely. Be it you're getting married, there's a graduation, you've had a new baby, mm -hmm. you just want to surprise someone, you've fallen in love, you're in the doghouse. You're in the doghouse and you come in real quick and you need to find something to take because you know you just didn't do it right and you're trying to get it right. We're right there. So whatever your need, even the one we don't like to talk about, the funerals, mm -hmm. there are deaths. So we're here to provide all of these services and more mm -hmm. for you. Whatever it is you think you might want, mm -hmm. we can make it for you. Can we get you out of the doghouse? You better bet you. <laughs> Amen to that. I'll keep you, that in mind. Yeah. You better bet. Yeah, they um, did that quite a bit. You see guys come in there with sweat on their face. And <laughs> you, are you at the doghouse? <laughs> yes, I am. That's right. We live at that address. Yeah, that address. And so I say, and also, you know, just word of mouth. Once you've used the Rose's Petal services, mm -hmm. you'll be back. And you will be able to tell someone when they have a need, they're getting married. Oh, you know what? I use this florist. I only use them once, but, you know, they're all on Broadway. Or roses mm -hmm. something. If you don't know the name, just Roses. Just look it up. Mm -hmm. We're there and we're waiting for you. So what's going on for Valentine's Day? Oh, wow. Any special? <sighs> I'm sorry you just missed the cutoff for the specials. <laughs> Valentine's Day is what? A week and a half away, maybe? Yes. It starts actually like next Thursday. Mm -hmm. We're going to be busy for Valentine's Day. And everyone's going to want it on Tuesday. Everyone wants it on next Tuesday, the 13th. Mm -hmm. They want it before 12 o'clock in order to get it before 12 o'clock. You, you can't come in at 10. Well, you well, know, you've got to come in the day before. You've got to come well, in Saturday. Well, before you go any further. Because <laughs> what I just heard is put it in now. Before you go any further, I want a half a dozen chocolate roses. Uh, and I said it on the air, so I can't take it back. So I'm going I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to sow in some goodwill for myself today. All and right. So I think they were good. They would look real good in the vase at home for mm -hmm. this person. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. So I would like some chocolate roses. I know that they are unique. You know they what I'm unique. talking about. Mm -hmm. They have a unique look. Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, having been in your establishment, I could see that creativity uh, is all over the place in there. Um, and I know that your your designers can do anything that anything. anybody would want. Anything. Um, I know, unfortunately, um, I lost my mom on the 6th of November. A good friend of ours who will be with us uh, at the IHOP for our after uh, broadcast reception a little bit later, uh, Paul Dussard. Uh, we lovingly call him the wealth doctor because he's in financial services. Uh, he just lost his mother-in-law. Right. And he asked me, um, you know, do we have a black-owned uh, florist? Uh, in our midst, and um, you know, boy, I wish this conversation we were having this conversation then. But you know, lost opportunities just create opportunities for the future. We have um, in Haldon, Clifton, Prospect Park, Hawthorne, Fairlawn, Glen Rock, and of course the Silk City. We have almost two hundred and fifty thousand people, uh, and if we have it our way. All of them are going to be calling roses <laughs> petals when they have when they have that need. That's our job, and so you know he's given us this microphone to have a voice, mm -hmm. and we would love the privilege to use this voice to be your partner in making sure that you know you call and say, Stan, you know what, uh, you and Lisa need to stop that phone from ringing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we can't, we can't. That's what we want to hear. Uh, one of the reasons why you guys see Cornelius everywhere is because we make sure we tell everybody that's our image doctor. We, yeah. If you have a funeral, if you have a wedding, if you have a, a, a sweet 16, yeah. if you have a graduation, that Cornelius Hill is the man that we want take with that camera in his hand. Yeah. You know, we want works him to magic. be in a place where yeah, he, he runs around. that yeah. vehicle into the ground and yeah. he can't go any further because, you know, I believe that we're blessed in proportion to who we bless. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Um, and so if you're blessing a lot of people, you're probably going to be all right. Can't help but be blessed, right? Can't you, help it. You're probably going to be all right. It. Hey, Jonathan, this this is our intern, uh, 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 Ivy Leaguer, University of Pennsylvania. Okay. So I'm glad that we have a, a, another generation of superstars Superstar. coming up. Yeah. And uh, we're going to brag on him until he goes back to school. Beautiful. You know, Beautiful. Uh, again, I say he's an ivy leaguer yes right? i'm not putting down where anybody else goes to yeah, school but right. we we yeah. have our kids in yeah. ivy league that's too. Right. That's that's it. It. so we want to celebrate him and, celebrate. Let, and let us know yes. we have a highly talented young man mm -hmm. who is who is in communications and journalism and thinks he might be able to learn something from two humble uh, servants. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to be able to teach him, but he can hang around. <laughs> he might be able to teach us something. Beautiful. So you, you have Beautiful. anything else you want to ask to Joe's? Lisa? Well, um, what would you like to offer to your audience in return for their support? Is there any discounts, any specials that you guys want to do? Yeah, I think um, anyone that comes in and um, says that they heard about us over the Matthews Network, mm -hmm. we'll give them 10% on their first order. Amen. Over twenty five dollars. Amen. Okay. Ten percent. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, and you do have gift certificates. We can have them. Well, you, you know. that creative yeah. team of yours, I'm yes. sure they could create oh, yes. something <laughs> awesome. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, what we will do uh, beginning tonight, and everyone, we look forward to seeing you. You know, on Monday nights, we are always at the Black Owned IHOP uh, in Patterson, New Jersey, from eight thirty to ten for the um, after, um, um, uh, after broadcast party. reception the after party. for the, the after, after party. party. <laughs> uh, and so we're going to tell all the business owners there, we're going to ask them, anyone who uh, is around that table tonight, they have to make a decision for Valentine's Day. So we're all going to put in our orders. I'm going to put in mine. Uh, if you cannot join us at the IHOP, but you can call in, you can reach us at uh, 732-357-5701. I will connect you directly to a Rose's Petals uh, because this is a big day, fellas, and so you guys better make sure. It's mighty cold outside to be in the doghouse. I don't That's recommend right. it at That's all. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend it. Right behind, <laughs> right behind yeah. that. Right behind that. So the, right so the number is 10%. And we begin today in working as hard as we possibly can behind these microphones uh, to make sure that all roads lead to a rose's petals when it comes to your floral needs. Now let's um, get your, do you have a web address, Facebook address or anything yes. like that? Yes, our, our website. number and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our website is aroses at msn.com. We're also pattersonflorist.net. Our Facebook page is sort of not working right now, but we're going to have that within the next couple of days up mm -hmm. and running 100%. Mm -hmm. And our phone number is 973-742-5333. Again, time. that's 973-742-5333. And the fax? Fax number, you can get us by fax. Also, 973-742-00. Five nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we got to let um our, our husband say something too. He's been very quiet and supportive. Well, let's, let's give him a little light. Okay, I'm retired. So. <laughs> hey, he don't need to say anything else. <laughs> That's it, you know. So I'm just laid back, you know, and enjoy what comes. Good. Yeah, very good. <laughs> 47 years. Wow. Right. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. You, guys have been, yes. you guys have been married for 47 years. 47 yes. Praise God. Praise yes. God. Praise yes. God. Yes. And he wants to marry me again tomorrow. Oh! Uh, and, you, and, and, and I know somewhere where you can get the flowers. <laughs> the, the only problem is on Valentine's Day, I can't give a flowers, you know. <laughs> Everybody yeah. comes in and they take them all. Out. Yeah, yeah. Me, you know. Wow. Those are late days, very late days. Wow. Yeah, very late that is days. wonderful. Yeah. That is wonderful. Yeah. We, we, we have certainly enjoyed having you here. Um, and uh, we are going to enjoy uh, even more uh, our partnership and working together, uh, making sure that uh, we go to the next level. I had a conversation 
with your wife the first day we would get together. And so my prayer for you is that at some point in time that Rose's Petals owns that entire half a block mm -hmm. because I think you guys would do a mighty work there that the present owner of the building neither has an interest in or a desire uh, to. Mm -hmm. So, you know, none of us knows uh, what God's plan for us is. That's right. So we just have to be available That's right. and open-minded, you That's know, so and let true. him do his thing. So true. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're going to uh, see all of you wonderful people very soon at the Patterson IHOP. Uh, we want to remind you, as always, there are two types of people in this world. There are dreamers like those of you in the Matthews broadcast audience, and there are dream killers. Our heartfelt advice to you is you embrace the first and run like heck from the second. So <laughs> magnify each other, glorify yes. the Lord, and be grateful and thankful so that more may come into your possession. He has great things in store for us. And so we just must say that awfully mighty powerful word. That word is yes. All yes. we have to do is release ourselves to what he has in store for us. And he will take care of the rest. He is not a man that he should lie. And so all we have to do is put our hands in his hand and hold on to each other for the ride. This is Stan Matthews and Lisa. Uh, saying good night here in the Matthews broadcast. And before we leave, we just want to make sure uh, that we are thankful to our sponsors. Um, and remember, these are the people who support us, and so we're asking you to support them. First and foremost, our good friend Jerry Moultrie, the chairman of the Urban Business Association, who's a little bit under the weather today. Urban Business Association is an organization working in urban communities in South Jersey, Central Jersey, and of course, North Jersey. And their job is to make sure dollars circulate in our community, dollars circulate in our community. And so if you're serious about growing your clientele today, accept no substitutes, join UBA. You can reach uh, Urban Business Association at 908-259-5012, 908-259-5012. Uh, Mr. G's Diner, where good friends greet, eat, and meet at 455 East 18th Street, and their number is 973-782-4020. Uh, the Patterson IHOP, uh, where we're on our way to uh, for the service and taste that makes your jaw drop, go to the Patterson IHOP. Uh, they are at 973-925-4700. And of course, they are 301 Main Street under the downtown mall. And there is parking underground for those who don't know. Alpha Digital Imaging for images that make uh, that last a lifetime. Our friend, the image doctor, Cornelius Hill, you can reach him at 973-818-3020, 973-818-3020. Uh, Jay's Car Wash and Detailing Center at 69 Montgomery Street, uh, owned by Apostle Joseph Robinson and his family. Uh, the soft touch that makes your car blush. They are at 973-510-1364. Uh, also, the Balance Well Health Center, Dr. Roth Riley and Mr. George Riley. Uh, their service for your health is not expensive, it is priceless. Uh, they are at not 201 794 4500. Also, uh, do, uh, Mr. Paul Dussard, our very own wealth doctor, uh, he is our financial planner, our financial services provider. Uh, building wealth, generational wealth, one great client, one great family at a time. You can reach Paul at 973-220-5026. And this beautiful lady to my right, Miss Lisa Thompson, the owner of Shea Anye Gifts. Uh, and those are gifts that last a lifetime. You can reach Lisa at 973-653-6333 if you need anything from her Tracy Lynn jewelry line or from her Avon products line or any of the handmade baskets that she does for all occasions. Uh, those gift baskets are guaranteed to put a smile on your loved one's face. Uh, last but not least, I want to thank all of those great friends of the Matthews broadcast. Uh, police officer, Captain Vernon Bradbury, captain of the Newark Police, 
uh, bike uh, 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 squad, uh, Miss Allison Skeet of the Caribbean American Business Association, uh, Deacon Eddie Little, uh, who will be seen a little while at the uh, IHOP, Miss um, Peterson, a uh, great friend of Mr. G's and also a friend of the broadcast, Mr. Sam Delgado, Vice President of Government Affairs at Verizon Communications. Uh, Sam, I hope everything is going great on that boat of yours out there on the lake. Uh, so until we see all of our friends over at the IHOP, again, we say good night and God bless. I hear my voice in the background somewhere. <laughs>